product mean? Product is multiplied. Okay. And again, quick review sum. Hmm. The word sum means what? If you see difference, product is multiplied and quotient is repeated. So sum is addition, difference is subtraction, and quotient is division. Product is multiplication. Now we've got 12 divided by 6 minus 1. Now what do we do? Divide. Okay. So remember it's parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, whichever comes first, and then adding and subtracting whichever comes first. And again, this is with whole numbers, with fractions, with decimals. Again, remember if you stack them, and then the 7 goes over here by itself, it does not go underneath the pi, I end up with 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. This is 10 times 21, which is, yes, 2 times Questions on number 7? What is the multiplier here? 16 times what is 48? So 48 
you simplified at this point? Because remember, if we simplify at this point, is that what's the common factor here? What can I divide the 3 and the 15 by? 3 3. What about the 8 and the 14? So I'm going to rewrite this. So now I have 1 4 times 7 fifth. So now our numbers are considerably small. Okay. So if we do top times top, we get 7 over 20, and that is already simplified. Questions on number 17? Before I move on. Questions on any of the ones that we've done so far? Okay, now this was just a brief review. Um, since I'm done with chapter 3, this is where we are. Right here. So on Tuesday, I'm going to be reviewing chapter 
chapters 1, 2, and 3 in preparation for your first test. So all homework for chapters 1, 2, and 3 will be due next Thursday. They need to be labeled and in pencil. Okay? So if you staple chapter 1 together, chapter 2 together, chapter 3 together, you don't have to staple all three assignments together. Okay? But if you have more than one page per assignment, those need to be stapled together. Um, hopefully you've been doing homework, so you won't be up Wednesday night working on it. Okay? Um, now I did mention there was a typo. I think most of you got this. For the Chapter 3 homework, it sh instead of 167 to 178, it should be 167 to 168. But you're still doing problems 1 through 21. So these first three assignments will be due next Thursday. Okay? Um, and again, after a test, I do not teach after a test. So you don't need to bring your book with you, you don't need to bring your notes with you. Um, you don't need to bring scratch paper with you. Just bring something to write with and your calculator if you're going to use one. Yes. Don't forget the title for our homework on number 14 in the book. Oh, yes. Thank you. What chapter was that? Chapter 2. Okay. Um, chapter 3. 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 Chapter Okay, right here. This is one of your homework problems here. And it says write an equivalent fraction with the given denominator, but they don't give you any numbers. So don't do that. You can't do that. Okay, so obviously that won't be one that I'm going to break. Okay, and remember I'm going to pick 10 questions from each homework assignment and I will grade it based on those 10. Okay. And you don't know which 10 I'm going to grade, so make sure you do all of them. Okay? I will stick around for a few minutes. Um, if you didn't take the quiz, I think I still have extra copies.